We are a refugee here. We think ourselves uh, we are refugees, but uh, from the government and any uh, officials of the government, we don't have any document like that states we, whether we are refugees or not. Since we don't have any document, it's a very basic problem. My people here in the, our church community or church members, almost they are Eritreans. But we have some 10 or not more than 10. Uh, we have some Ethiopians. And some of my uh, community members or church members, uh, some of them, they've been here five years, six years, seven years. And myself, I've been here in Israel for 10 years. And we don't have any statues that explain about the uh, situation. So just we start a church, we rent a uh, hall like this one. But we face with the uh, municipality like the Arnuna bills. So since we don't have any uh, legal status, we can't able to run to get the uh, reduction of like any other church or like any other synagogue. So we had a lot of debts from the municipality. Like if I told you, it's, it's, it's uh, a very a huge, huge number, like uh, 270 or 90,000 shekels we owe to the municipality. The Minister of Mount Moria uh, Trust, I know them in a very short period of time. Uh, quite I thankful for what they done for us. They think to help me, they uh, realize that we need help. So it's, it's a very nice idea, but I know them in the very short period of time when they came and we, I share them my uh, ideas and they start to help me. Israel has the largest gap between the rich and poor in the developed world, according to the OECD. There are over two and a half million people living in poverty, which includes nearly a million children and 180,000 elderly, including Holocaust survivors. And although there are small social assistance payments available, these by no means cover the cost of rents, utilities and food. And in the Palestinian Authority areas, there's no assistance whatsoever.